Well, howdy, y'all. I'm back at it again. And uh, I'm going to try to use a wacky worm. And maybe get a little bit deeper, see if that produces any bigger fish. But I like top water bites, but I also like big bass, so I'm going to give it an attempt and see if I can produce anything that's bigger than, I don't know, 14 inches. I've never really used one of these before, honestly. So I know other people use them and catch a lot of fish with it, but I'm not really exactly sure how to even use them. So I'm going to learn on the job. The best I can tell is maybe you let it fall to the bottom, and then just kind of bump it along the bottom. We'll give it some time and see if we can make anything happen. Something's biting it, but nothing big. My assume, assumption is it's you know, bluegill or something. Oh, that's something. And probably just a little fish. I'll give it a couple minutes. If nothing happens, and I'll look on YouTube how to use a wacky worm. Amazing what you can find on YouTube. <laughs> I got something. Well, I guess it is a bass. <laughs> there we go. First, first ever bass on a wacky worm for me. There we go. Not the big one I'm after, but it's a bass. Not skunked. I'm gonna move out to the outer edge of these lily pads and see if I can maybe catch something out there a little farther. But that's not bad. I've been fishing for probably five minutes and have caught two already. Let's hit those ones out there and see what we can come up with. Whatever I'm doing, it seemed to be working, at least on those two. All I'm doing is basically letting it fall and then I just jerk it a little bit and right where I wanted it. Got a fish. <laughs> there we go. I think they're just up closer, honestly. <sighs> little guy, but maybe I'm resorted to just catching little ones. But they're still fun. They're fun to catch. Any fish is fun to catch. Hope I don't lose my worm. Oh, maybe I have a fish actually. I do, I got a fish. <laughs> I guess sometimes it's hard to tell when you got a fish on this thing. That's actually a bigger one. That's a bigger one. There we go. I don't even know when he hit. It's a little bit better one. Get back out of here. I thought I was stuck in lily pads. And uh, next thing you know, I got a fish on. So who knows? But anyway, yeah. It's decent. Well, it's probably 12. Not huge. Not what I'm looking for. Someone's biting it. Oh, I actually got one. I got one. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. But it all counts as one. Oh, he got off and I'm not 
terribly disappointed. Work our way around these lily pads right here. What is that? Five now? Six? Got one. Got one. Oh, is he better? This might be a little better one. I don't know. He's fighting a little better. Probably 14. He's probably 14 inches. This, this might be the best one I've caught so far this this trip. Maybe ever in here for that matter. Uh, no, he's probably, I don't know, 13. But he's a decent one. So I've, I've run the hook through one time and I've run it through sometimes double um, just to help it stay on. This worm's getting pretty, it's getting pretty uh, beat up, but I'm just going to keep adjusting the hook until it falls off, I guess. A little different than yesterday, more clouds, which is probably not necessarily a bad thing. Still looking for that elusive bigger fish. It's amazing how you kind of learn habits of fishing based on where you where you fish primarily. I, I grew up fishing Lake Ontario, St. Lawrence River, uh, some inland, well not inland, but a river that connected to the Lake Ontario. And um, I used to catch pike and you know we'd go to Lake Ontario you'd catch lots of smallmouth bass and just I used to catch just a lot of things but I kind of learned how, what the fish like there and you know made it work but it's just a little different than fishing these lakes it's a little different I don't even know if there's pike in this lake to be honest with you right in there <coughs> I think that's a fishy spot to me Feels fishy. We're gonna see. Oh, I actually think I have one. A little guy? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's not a little guy. Or, well, it's a little guy, but. <laughs> not as little as the last one. Yeah. I guess I got one. I guess I got one. Another one of those <laughs> no sure you got him type things. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, I just barely got him. Right. Little 12 incher. Something like that. Got him. I don't got him by much, but I got him. It's a decent one. It's a little fatter. <laughs> A 
little fatter. It's gotta be one in here. I feel like I'm fishing for a needle in a haystack, to be honest with you. It's crazy. You're telling me there's not one fish in here that's 16 or 17 or enough that I can't. I mean, I've caught 30 fish in the last few outings. <laughs> but not, <coughs> not the one I'm after. Oh, oh, I got it. Either came back or I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got it the first time or it came back. But... So far, consistently a little bigger. Oh, I think I had something biting it. Eh. All right, probably 12, 13 incher. He swallowed it pretty good. Skinny little thing. Wow. Probably 13 inches or so. Well, I finally cracked the code off the dock. We're gonna go get a quick measurement and see how long this thing is before I put them back. 15 and a half inches, which isn't huge, but it's definitely the biggest bass I caught here. <sighs> Crazy. Last day, just getting ready to go pack up. I'm gonna put them back now. probably two inches bigger than the biggest thing I've caught up to this point. I was hoping for a whole lot more of those and some bigger ones, but I'll take that for the last day.